Hey, what's up gamers? This is Skeleton Mystic. Welcome to a special edition of my March update. Ordinarily, this is the kind of thing I would wait till the next update to address, but it's really very interesting and it's really kind of here and now and I want to I want to get into it right now. So I've come to a special update. It has to do with the recent rumors of level 105 and 110 gear that have come out. I personally <laughs> call me a skeptic. I don't think I believe it for several reasons. Here's one. The Blade of Steel has or will have supposedly 5% universal resist, 25% outgoing heal. By itself, not a big deal. But factored in with other things, such as the other items where you, that you're going to see here in a minute, and the fact that King's Isle, the way they usually do updates, they have hints, they have, you know, little bits and pieces in their gameplay. Then they come out with like random artwork that you're trying to figure out what it's supposed to be, and then they come out with gear things like this. This gear was supposedly leaked like six or seven months ago. And, and that's, okay, it's a leak, it's possible. Here's another one, the Ring of Withstanding. Look at the health and the mana on that, plus the other one, plus the Universal Resist, plus the huge healing. This would turn PvP pretty much on its ear. PvP players with Jade, Exalted, would have 90% resist off the bat, Universal. Add a spell to that and you're immune to everything. And it, it, it just doesn't make any sense. Along with what I was talking about with, as far as King's Isle and, and the way they do things. It just, to me, doesn't make any sense. And I, I've scanned these pictures really close. And in the background, it looks like they were taken in Dragonspire <laughs> or photoshopped from Dragonspire because of the curb color and the curb work. You can see them and you know how they, how they have a transparency for these gear things. That's what it looks like. Now here's the other one, the Lords of Night deck. Now, it doesn't have a bunch of universal, thank goodness, <laughs> or heal, thank goodness, and it seems plausible. Whoever did these, if they are Photoshop, they didn't go crazy, and that was smart. But, like I said, with everything outstanding, and I could be wrong, these could be actual, honest to goodness, leaks, and actually be seeing them stuff that's in the game, but I don't personally think so. Not the way... King's Isle runs things. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a little bit of frog and there. There's too much here that it's, that makes me think it's not. For one thing, that gear is just would would totally, totally make Jade players crazy. <laughs> you, you you'd be unbeatable, and they've always tried to balance that PVP out. Anytime they see an error, they're like, well, 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 let's back up and let's do this. So I don't totally buy this at all. But anyhow, I thought you should see this supposed gear update and judge for yourself. You know, make your own decisions. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Maybe leave me a comment about other games or other series you'd like me to play. If you want, leave a comment to talk to me, ask me questions, or just shoot the breeze because I'd love to talk to you guys back. This is Skeleton Mystic reminding you, <laughs> whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Skeleton Mystic, welcome back to Pet Trick Baby Jamega the Bloodhound, and this would be its mega level. <clears throat> Sorry for the little, I sound a little scratchy, I know I've got a little bit of a head cold on. And I sound like myself when I'm talking in a barrel. But hey, the show must go on. So, I'm going to